Now once you understand how you can display this is loading and is error message when you don't have your data, let me show you how you can create this component. Instead of just this division tag, I'm going to create a new component and create a spinning animation. So let's create a new component inside this child and I'm going to name this component spinner.js. That's upon you. You can specify any name to this file. Here, I'm going to export a default function and I'm going to name this function spinner and then here inside this function, I'm going to return JSX and inside this JSX, I'm going to return a division tag with some class names. So I'm going to say here flex justify center to center this spinner and then padding y 14. So this will add top and bottom padding to this spinner. Just out of that here, I'm going to add just a span tag and then specify class name to it, which is loader. Now, this is a custom class name. Let me show you what we're going to specify to this class name inside CSS. So let me first save the changes back to the section two. And here instead of this loading, now I can just import this component. I can say here import spinner from this spinner file. And then I'm going to grab this spinner and specify that right here, something like this. Once you've done that, you're not going to see anything. This is because we don't have any CSS to this loader. So let me just back to the styles and open the globals, globals.css. And inside this globals.css, right down here, I'm going to create a spinner. So I'm going to say here dot loader. I'm going to call this class name loader. Make sure the name is exactly same. And then I'm going to say here apply. I'm going to call some tailwind classes here. The first class is border gray 200 that I'm going to specify rounded full then specify border four. just out of that I'm going to specify is linear and then specify height is going to be 10 and width is going to be 10 just out of that I'm going to specify some color to this spinner so border top color is going to be the hex value. So I'm going to just specify some hex value here, 363CE0. Then I'm going to call the animation. So to call the animation, I need animation property. And to this animation property, I'm going to create and specify my animation. So let me specify here spinner, the animation name, and then specify the speed to it. So I'm going to specify 1.2 second, which is linear and infinite. Now just out of that, Keep in mind, you need to create this animation. So right down here, you can call add the red sign and pass keyframe. Using keyframe in CSS, you can create different animations. So I'm going to call here keyframes and specify name to it. As you know, we specify name to it spinner. So let's copy it and specify that here. And inside an object, you specify the animation. So on the 0%, you specify transform property to it. Transform rotate is going to be zero degree and on 100% the transform property is going to be rotate 360 degree that's it we are just going to rotate this spinner using this animation so on zero percent I'm going to specify zero degree and when the percentage is hundred percent I'm going to specify 360 degree to this spinner back to my spinner save this file as well back to the section 2 and if I reload the browser you're not going to see anything but if I specify here true to execute only this if statement you can see you're going to have your spinner here so if anything went wrong and you have some delay to getting the data from the back end you will get this spinner animation you can do the same thing for error as well so what we are going to do is instead of this true I'm going to specify here is loading and I'm going to make this is error true. Now I'm going to execute only this division tag. But what I want instead of this div, I want to create my own component for the error as well. So inside this child, I'm going to create a new file and name this file error.js. And inside this here, I'm going to call first the import statement image from the next.js image. And then I'm going to say export default function the function name is error and then I'm going to say return division tag with some Telvin classes so specify class name 
text center and padding y 10. Inside this div here, I'm going to add h1 heading tag with some classes. So I'm going to specify here text 3xl font bold text orange 600 padding y 10 and specify here text which is something went wrong just out of that just out of this h1 heading tag here i'm gonna add my image component this one and then specify here image so in the source i'm gonna specify the image as you know to specify image you need to specify images forward slash not found dot png you have this image inside of the images folder don't worry about that and just out of that here we specify width which is going to be 400 pixel height is going to be also 400 pixel let me save this back to the section 2 instead of this div let me just import here error from this child component something like this and then instead of this div i'm going to specify here error component save this file oops something went wrong let me see if i scroll down in the images right here the name of the image is not found i just specify here no found now let me just save this file back to my project and here you can notice you have your error component so if something went wrong you will get this image with this error message that's upon you you can change this error message and you can create your own error component inside this project so let me just specify here is error and save this file i'm gonna back to my project reload it you can see right here you will see the spinner you can see so this is how you can create a spinner and the error component inside the project